alone, a solitary man, and when the sun goes down, your memory is back around. And your heart is breaking now. This here was your father's land. Nothing that you can pretend. You love justice and you you know, hens? You go and wake him sudden like that and they won't lay. Now then, you want eggs? Are you the sheriff? Are you President McKinley? Now what's it look like? We ain't got any sheriff here. We ain't got nothing. It all belongs to McGowan. Say, what's that smell in the air? <laughs> that delicate odor also belongs to McGowan. <laughs> it's from the silver mine, which is McGowan's, of course. Where's the town with a marshal in it? I have a reward to collect. Yeah, you could try to make it to Cassidy, but with this downpour, I sure don't advise it. Is there some place here to bed down in? The bunkhouse. It's for the miners, but first you got to get permission to from McGowan. Eh, you want to know a secret? You ain't never going to get it. <laughs> Where is this McGowan? You take a dozen eggs. They'll be awful nice with coffee in the morning on the trail to Cassidy. Good night. <laughs> it's awful late, you know. You don't want your hands up all night long. Where is McGowan? He, he lives on the hill west of town, but the one you want to see is Voller, his watchdog. His name is Voller. He'd be in the drugstore. Yeah, he's there. Real jailbirds.
one. One. Where's Baller? Huh? Baller. He's asking for Voller. What do you want him for? I want to ask you about somewhere for us to bunk down for the night. Well, you boys walk into a place and people see you dripping mud like a couple of pigs. You can't expect them to be offering their beds. Afraid you picked the wrong town, Hoss. <coughs> I'd like to buy my new friend a beer. Uh, and this one. He's had a long walk. Two hundred. Come on, Frank. Have a drink. We don't serve any alcohols in here after midnight. And everyone always obeys the rules. Mm. Except at cards. Mm. Five hundred. Five hundred it is. Five. And raise your five. That's too rich for my blood. I'm out. Baller? <coughs> Cost you five thousand to stay in now. That's a lot of pressure you're putting on me, Baller. You're not getting my silver too, fold. Son, you got a damnedest luck I ever seen. Pot's yours. I'm sure trying to beat you. And move over. I'll play you for five thousand dollars. Okay, amigo. But first, I want to see your five thousand dollars. I sit over there. You just bring him to a marshal. <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? If so, it's funny to your friend only. We don't pick up taps around here. So I hear. This is a peaceful place. Not look like it to you. These people are honest and proprietors. And all hard working. Employees at McGowan. <laughs> Up until they die of dust poison in the mines. <laughs> Who are you? Those that know me call me Blade. Because I sort of got a habit of letting this do my talking for me. Mm. What do you want? To try my luck with your pack of cards. Mm -hmm. Let's play. Sorry, I don't like poker. You what? Let's just play high card to win. Okay, you pick one first. Nine. Let's go double or nothing.
You might have guessed. I know other languages. Keep dropping it real easy, or you won't be as lucky as your dogs. Feet are really gonna stink when you take your boots off. So what? So five thousand dollars is what I wanted, not just smell. Go on, get out of here, Craven. Come again? Hit the trail, Bert. You son of a bitch, just let me go like that. You're the most goddamned unpredictable bastard that I know. Don't waste your breath. You might be one to run. That's when I need money again. Yeah, no. <laughs> Couldn't scare me off, so they'll be coming. Quit dragging your feet. Move that car along. <laughs> Jackson, get that grease over here. Do those wheels. Move it along. Move it. I sure hope we don't run into Dolman's bunch again. Now, my foreman, no trail that swings well north of where Dolman's been operating. They'll take you as far as Selma Springs. From there on, you'll be okay. How's that? Appreciate it. Don't mention it. Don't forget to come back. Yeah! 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 Get up there! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Hey, Billy! Bring me back some of them Irish pipes of silver and silk, will you? You bet!
destroy yeah. who loves to kill. Then your hand won't stop the ice, and your conscience will be satisfied. This here was your father's land. Nothing that you can't reject. People have been asking me that lately. Where's your father? Stop right where you are. Get the hands up, son. Hold up to the hat. Deborah, I'll tend to this thing. You never ever go through her. And we both feel sort of silly. A pistol won't be necessary, McGowan. Who are you? Someday we'll come around to that. I'm here tonight about prices. Prices? Yep. You pay $2,000 a week, and I'll be straw boss for you. You have imagination. Be worth improving your defenses. With Dorman gobbling up your silver as fast as you can mine it. The McGowan Empire won't last too long. I already employ a whole army to defend the Empire. It's a poor battle commander won't do a little observation. A fatal mistake. <laughs> You've still got a time to make Suttonville before I have Bala give something else to his dogs for dinner. You were given the wrong information, because we've reached an understanding, his dogs and I. Think it over, McGowan. Just stand there, that fellow walk out. Mm -hmm. Hey, pigsty! My friends would like to see how you can make out disease. I got no guns. Ooh! <laughs> Check out your guns, boss. <laughs> My blessings, they're all yours. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
I'd say we done pretty good. Yeah, let's go. Hold it. If we don't bring his carcass back, Valor will think we just make him believe we've done it. Come on.
Saying the dead men on a pile of stone or something best left alone. I'm gonna turn us around. No, wait. Where are you going? We can't get the wagons through there anyway. Just what do you want to mix in for? In trouble. Angela, Angela, don't. Hey, one of them's still alive. Big oh, come here on. We go. What is it? I'm sorry, McGowan, but if you can't guarantee consignment of your silver. We'll be forced to ship the contract to Virginia City come June. But if bandits attack the wagons every time, how can I guarantee it? It's up to the Treasury Department to send me proper escorts for them. Army Secretary Fisk has complained you've already lost him too many men. And that's not what the contract says. It says you have full responsibility as far as Fort Riley, Texas. And it also provides funds to hire men to protect those shipments. Where are they? Now, we're doing all that's possible, but this bandit, Dolman, he's, he's got a lot of men. He's well organized. I understand that. Look, all I can do is put in a request to Fisk, asking the army to let you have other guards. Beyond that, it's your problem. I'll keep in touch. Right, and thanks. Bala. Mm hmm? I don't believe I've got the, the strength to go on with this work. I've begun to have visions of my tombstone. My God, come on. I know what I'm saying, but that's not what I'd like to discuss with you. Deborah never has fit in with dust poison. No, I, I feel I should send her to New Orleans to learn how to be a lady. Will you take Deborah down there? Sure. I'll uh, join her as soon as I've wrapped things up here. All of a sudden, the empire smells very cold. You know the smell? women again already, are you? When we found you, we thought you'd never pull through. Let's see the leg. What's the matter with it? Oh, nothing much, considering your constitution. No. Nothing but a huge gaping hole, which I am about to try to sew up. Now then. Are you a Quaker? Who? A Quaker? Me? <laughs> All those women out there, aren't they married to you? Married? <laughs> Married. <laughs> if I'd married five women like that, you'd be looking at the world's most cuckolded husband. <laughs> They're my capital, is what those women are. If it uh, if it hurts you too much, here, 
It's not the best of brands, but it'll do the trick. Listen, are you going to... That's right. Sew your leg up. Or would you prefer to get gangrene? Ah, so you're a doctor. No, actually, I used to be a woman's tailor in St. Louis. Of course, if you object... Only I'll... if you put on buttons. Well, it was a perfect trap. There shouldn't have been any problem. Well, you might have thought of telling me before. Well, maybe they'd run into something unexpected. They didn't want to rush it. Only somebody would be back now to get help if they needed it. Tell Billy Worm and Tabby to saddle up. Right. horse, the dude ain't gone far. Let's go. Hold it! Hold it! This wagon couldn't have turned around here more than six hours ago. Let's follow the tracks. doing on this trail? Uh, we were on our way toward Cassidy, but halfway up the pass was blocked by a rock slide, so we doubled back this way and set up camp here on the creek. Now, you ain't by any chance seen any strays in the pass, huh? I'd have been delighted to. The ladies here are burning up to properly show their talent. I'm gonna take over a saloon in Weston, but it's hard to keep hot chicken simmering forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you, I got you. It's a great disappointment to me that uh, you have no time to save the delights of your spectacle. <laughs> yeah. You know, if there's some other trail we could take, I'm uh, not at all uh, acquainted with these parts. And we uh, sure do want to get to Weston. Now, who are you hiding in your wagon over there? Hmm? <laughs> there's no one in the wagon. <laughs> What? Why the gun? Wait a minute! Oh! <laughs> My wagon is destroyed! That's it enough! Take weeks to repair it again! Oh, for God's sake, look at this hat! Look what you've done, you stupid simpleton! It was a brand new original from Paris! Cost me sixty-four dollars in New Orleans. Now who's gonna pay me back for I my hat? I shut that squawker's mouse and go for the inside of that wagon. It's not possible. The dogs have gone wrong. Uh, but you can't do uh, the uh, other one too. Uh, We're not hiding any. There's nothing. Only a lot of clothes. Ain't in here unless he's in the walls. Idiot dogs. Let's go. like a charm. <laughs> it only cost five dollars and I bought it in Bitter Creek. But you're gonna get me a new one anyway. Hmm. None of that. You may be handsome, but you're just <laughs> as rotten as every other man. As soon as I'm better, we're going to Suttonville. I got a real hankering to do some dancing. Suttonville? Are you crazy? That bigot McGowan won't allow artistes inside the city limits. Don't worry. I'll get you a special yeah, permit. That I gotta see. Gotta be around here somewhere. Takes the dogs and search the other end of the path. I'm heading back to town.
Mr. Waller. The stage just pulled in. Are you ready? Let's get those bags loaded. Okay. Hey, you! Get back on the stage. It's about to start moving What are you out. talking about? Passengers have a right to an hour's rest. Here we decide the rest. The passengers have well, a right to... Well, let me at least go and have a piss cap. No, we're Please leaving, I said. not even yeah. the time to... Yes, yes, I heard. Go on, get in. Go. You all ought to be thankful that Mr. McGowan's providing an escort for the rest of the journey ah, to protect thank you. you. Thank you. Come on. And here we go. <laughs> this is the one it. It's Johnny and his... Come on, it's Johnny. 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 as any other, if you can get them to let us stay. I'll let you stay. Get to work, Lucy. Now, I travel the Southwest route twice a year, but I'll be darned if I ever seen the trail as rough as this one. What do you say, miss? Think maybe we want to change lines in Dallas, hmm? Yeah, and maybe a long time before then. And you can rest assured I'll make my voice heard. I have never undergone such ungallant, thoughtless treatment in my whole life. Well, you make your voice heard as much as you please, but they're traveling a different trail for a reason. This whole area is infested with bandits. <gasps> Good Lord! Outlaw hooligans! How long is it to the next Many place? Many a mile, miss. You think you'll care for a nip of rum? Hmm. No, thank Food you. from the Isle of Jamaica. Check the hardware. Grab for a cloud and no monkey business. You fool, move away from the stage. What are you, fool, amigo? I want you all out, keeping your hands up high over your head where I can see them. Relieve this gent of his irons. Come on. Don't out. murder me. I have very little money. Oh, I live on a bench. Stop making such a fuss. Out. Move it. Come on. Last but not least, Edward McGowan's only daughter.
It's better you eliminate them all. Looks like rain. Uh, let's go. shave all their heads and may the good lord on high drive out the issue of satan you can stop with that one she's howling like the demon in person what demon in person you're the real demon what demon is this girl let me get him out of town we'll never come back i swear we'll never get back and keep quiet Get one alone. Go get him.
them off, McGowan. up the stage. They took your daughter, Deborah. You follow her? Where have you got it? It's a little bit hard to recognize her way off on top of a hill. Give him the glass. Tell Vala that whatever he wants, I'm willing to pay it. Vala? Vala. I'm not so old and not so stupid not to have seen right away that this was set up personally by Vala. No need to rush her. Not for that much money. You got plenty of time to scrape together everything you own and all the silver your men can mine. Am I? We'll let you know. Yo. is the last thing I want. But I don't have any choice now. I see her a price. I'll give you 10,000. 10 times that. You're crazy, mister. That's totally unreasonable. Look at that ore they're taking out. That's just to meet the outlaw's demand. I've given up deliveries to Fort Riley. And as a result, I'll lose my contract with the government. Ten times ten. So be it. But I want you to get my child back safe and sound. If you fail... I ain't finished. I was told that years ago the air around here was clean. That life was easy and carefree. worth nothing. But I changed all that and it belongs to me now. What else do you want? I want you to allow my friend Johnny Johnny to set up here in Suttonville, permanent, and to reopen the saloon. It'll give these poor souls something to look forward to. Reopen the saloon. 
These men have got to stick to working and not be distracted with disgusting spectacles of Babylon. No, McGowan, you're not pushing us out. This land is my land. It's mine now. On the beginning of Judgment Day, there won't be anyone in line before you. But Gowan. Ah, oh, the shows were coming on. They've come from all over. Look at that sign. Not even the Pecos House in Dallas has a sign like that, huh? Hey there, Shorty. Hey, hey, listen. How about him in a friendly outfit, huh? See you later. Better in head. Better in head. Right Florida clean. It's going great. <laughs> let's go. Let's go, girls. Right on upstairs. It's always been a dream of Johnny Johnny's to have his own permanent place. And now he's finally got one. <laughs> What's your great dream? Mm, I don't dream any longer. But you know, every now and then I think if I had a lot of money, I'd go away. <laughs> to Paris or London or whatever. What I mean is, I'd just travel wherever I want to. And then what? Come back on home? I know I shouldn't ask you. Will you stay? Who can tell? Can't bet on cover cars. Ten times ten. You certainly drive a hard bargain. And all of that there is for Deborah. You're to follow the back trail into high country. They'll show whenever they see fit. But stay on the lookout. They wanted me to go. Unfortunately, I'm no longer able to defend myself, much less my daughter. But I'm not looking for your sympathy. Yeah, your wealth can get you anything with a price on it. Men even die for it. But it can't buy you the one thing you've never had. Human kindness. Mind telling me just what your real name is? To a man with your amount of conscience, I doubt if it'll ring bells. The name I was born to is buried in the middle of a wood grove with my dead father. Are you the son of Gerald? Of Gerald Merton? Yeah. How do you feel? Wife and son here. Go on, get him out of there. No! Papa! No! Papa! Papa! It was an accident. It wasn't me. It was just an accident. It, it wasn't anybody's fault. Yes, it was. You stole the land, remember that? No! I bought that land under territorial concession. I destroyed a man in doing it. Gerald Merton refused to bend with the movement of progress. The minerals lying under your father's land enrich the world. Especially you. No, your minerals have brought greed, disease, and filth. Just have to look at the miners. All right, kill me. Blow my head off if you think that's going to avenge your father. But I warn you, you've got the wrong enemy. I know I do, but you're finished, McGowan. For 20 years, my only dream was to face you down and kill you for what you did to my father. And you know, you're not worth the brass of my seven-penny cartridges. Not anymore. 
And the worst punishment now is for you to have to live on. Now you listen to me, Blade. Your forgiveness and your pity I don't need. I only want you to kill. To kill your and my enemy. Vala. It's Vala you've got to kill. He kidnapped Deborah. He's a bloodthirsty madman. He wants the Empire and I can't prevent it. Only you can stop him now. I'm afraid. Afraid of what he might do to Deborah. You have to save her. You'll be working for McGowan. Gotta make a living. You can let Deborah go now. The ransom money is here. <laughs> now don't tell me the old fool's forgot. He's the one who was meant to come and pick up his pretty daughter, not you. What difference is there? What counts is uh, that you get your pot of gold and that Deborah returns to Suttonville. <laughs> Put down the gun as well. Oh, come now. It's like being with no britches on. Let's take it rough. I always take the bargains. Okay, I got you, I got you. I'll let the girl go free. But you get your ass away from my gold. about vermin, do you, big boy? Why'd you have to get yourself mixed up in all this? It's just a family affair. Hey, 
Hey, Valor. Ain't nothing but rocks. Hold him. These rocks. <gasps> That paralytic old gold eater. Don't be stupid. My father would never cheat on a deal. <laughs> oh, that's not a very nice thing to do to me. Take back the girl and run off my gold. <laughs> Where'd you hide it? Nah, you better kill me. You better kill me while you can. Or someday I'm gonna get you. Father, I think I know how to make him change his mind. Pigsty. Now look who we've got here. <laughs> Ain't she a pretty little sweetheart, huh? I only hope she can help you bring back your memory, son. Now, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to save your hero or not? Hmm? You want to save him? <laughs> All you have to do is get him to say where he's hidden my gold. Hmm? Hmm? Leave it be. I'll show you the place where I've hidden it. But you have to let it go first, for the head. <laughs> start. Well, now, all that's left to do is for you to say goodbye, because he and I got another score to settle. See? Uh, uh, get out of here. No. No, I can't do it. You're not gonna die. You can't. Don't be a fool. No. If you stay, you'll kill us both. No. Now that poor Johnny's dead. You're my whole world. Okay, let's go. We've wasted enough time already. If she's so set on it, she can come too. Saved us the trouble of digging your grave. See the sun? That's going to be your damnation, fella. I've reserved the slowest end for you my little heart could sing of. You tried! You bastard! I'll tear your eyes out! Lurid prostitute! Can't tell you, I'll kill you! I'll kill you! That'll do. Oh. 
Can't you close your eyes? <laughs> Sing, golly, I hope a scorpion gets you before the sun burns them out, eh? Adios, amigo. <laughs> Deborah, Deborah. Hmm. He'll tell you the whole story. You're getting old, McGowan. Finished. Why don't you move over and leave a place for me? I want you to give your blessings to our imminent betrothal. If I ever get you out of there alive, remember, Bert Craven never forgets. Go on, move it. They're all waiting. to clean up a town. Oh, it's hard time for a little law and order in this place. Seeing that both McGowan and I feel it's necessary. Now, owing to infirmity, the old man desires that I substitute him completely in the management of the man. And I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you all, Miss Deborah and I are shortly to be married. Night yet? No, it's still light outside. Well, I'd better go out there and hunt for something to sink our teeth into before it gets dark.
put up with easy women, does to you? Turns you into softies. See what I say? On your feet. I said on your feet. Leave him alone, you son of a bitch! Now I got something to say. Old Edward McGowan is a hard man to work under, but you've pushed it too far. Hey, if you gonna clear out of your head, put that shovel down. Either you stop treating us like a herd of animals, mister, or you'll mind the damn Sylvia yourself. Hey, man, you can't treat us like mules. Hey, 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 we got our rights. Get that feeling tampered to you all. Now get back to work. Oh, we ain't scared of them. Come on. tolerate any further insubordination and we do not accept any of your requests or complaints now either you all return to work immediately or I give the order to my men to open fire on you Bala you won't gain any power simply by forcing them don't Bala fire daylight again today. Nothing. Don't worry. You'll get your sight back again, even if it does take a long time. Why is it you're playing nursemaid? You once saved my life. Don't you remember? I also cut off your hand. <laughs> yeah. Well, now I got one made of steel. And twice as strong as it was before. Anyhow, let's forget this goddamn sad talk. Drink up. And quit feeling sorry for yourself. You know something, Craven? It's a whole new world when you go blind. You see things you never saw before. Just a 
like a snake trying to just harm like a my body, got no fear. Like a snake, like a snake, just like a snake, so I feel just like a snake, so I feel just like a snake. horses changed, right? So we wait in this stump. Hey, fellas, how can you stand living in this godforsaken rat hole, eh? Up to a couple of weeks ago, you couldn't even get whiskey here. You're lucky, lady. Hey, buckaroo. Hey, mountain boy. How about offering me a little whiskey, huh? Did I say lady? Don't you like it? Oh, it's awful. It's awful. Well, I wasn't born with this goddamn hook. Some son of a bitch hacked it off with a hatchet. Yeah, I remember when you came in, a man called Blade. Only I don't think Blade will be chopping off no more people's hands. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, Blade's still alive and mean as ever. And he's gonna be back here looking for blood. And where is he? Right now, he's like a wounded animal. But he's healing fast. You didn't answer my question. Where is he? Depends on how much your uh, head man wants to pay. I only wish I could be with you for this, eh? That's right. These boys are tops. If you're playing straight, they'll get him. If not, you're gonna need at least three more hooks. Here. You don't have to worry about a thing. He's blind and unarmed. Easy. We'll be back tomorrow with his head on a stick. Okay, fellas, go on.
over there in that cave. I'll wait here. Go ahead. We'll cover your backs. Well, what are you waiting for? Go ahead. Son of a bitch!
Kate's talking about seeing things different. You were lying. I was warning you about how I saw through everything you were saying. It's time, Bert. Oh! A couple of eggs that go good on a trail.